Springs will sometimes come up when you're talking about force and work. So I wanted to make a video on the force and work of a spring and how to do that. If you remember and you watched my last video, then you saw that the work done is the definite integral from A to B of your force function dx. And if you're talking about springs, then the force of a spring is k, which is called the spring constant, times x. And x is like the displacement of the spring from its natural position. And this is called Hooke's Law if you're into naming things. So thanks a lot, Hook. I uh, appreciate it. So the problem I have here for you is that we've got this spring. It's a nice spring attached to a wall. Maybe it's stopping a door. I don't know. But the problem says that if this spring is naturally one inch, okay, it's naturally one inch. And if I press the string in six inches, so basically I'm reducing the string by half, that requires 10 pounds of force. Okay, so basically, if I use this little equation, force equals kx, I know that if I want to compress the string by half, or in other words, push it in six inches, that means the displacement of the string is one half, or I guess this could be negative a half if I'm pushing it in, but it doesn't really matter. I said that the force required to do that was 10, which means I can solve for my K, I can solve for my spring constant by multiplying by two, and I'm getting that my K is 20. So that information, if they give you a problem on this, they'll have to give you, they'll have to either give you the spring constant or they'll have to tell you it took so much force to push it or pull it this much. And once you have K, you can answer other questions. So let's just say I wanted to know how much work it would be if I took this string and I stretched it out one inch more. So if you could imagine me taking this spring and pulling it out till it was a whole out another inch, if that makes sense. Well, I'm just gonna do this formula right here. So if I'm have it at its natural position and I stretch it one inch, that'll be the definite integral from zero to one. And then I need to integrate the force function, which is k times x. I've just found k, k was 20, and then I put an x here, and then I just need dx. And now this is a very easy definite integral to solve. So we can just solve that by adding one to the power, dividing by the new power, and evaluating from zero to one. 20 over two is 10. And if I plug in one, it's one squared. If I plug in zero, that's zero squared. Well, zero times anything is zero. One times one is one. So the amount of work to do this would be 10. So there is your introduction to springs and doing work. Uh, it's really just the same formula as work with definite integrals. You just have to remember Hooke's law over here that the force of a spring is k times x. Hope you got something out of it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.